Welcome to One Mind Zen. Tonight's Dharma talk is given by Minui Maitri. In 1965, when Vietnam was embroiled in a growing and growing conflict, Zen Master Thich Nhat Hanh, uh, known for his engaged style of Buddhism, wrote a prayer, a prayer of peace. And I've modified it slightly for today. In beauty, sitting on a lotus flower is Lord Buddha, quiet and solid, your humble disciple, calm and pure of heart, forms a lotus flower with his hands, faces you with deep respect, and offers this heartfelt prayer. Homage to all Buddhas in the Ten Directions. Please have compassion for our suffering. Our land has been at war for over 80 years. Divided, it is a land of tears and blood and bones of young and old. Mothers weep till their tears are dry, while sons on distance, distant fields decay. Its beauty torn apart, only blood and tears now flow. Brothers killing brothers and neighbors killing neighbors for promises from outsiders. Homage to all Buddhas in the Ten Directions. Because of your love for all people, have compassion on us. Help us remember we are just one family the children of Abraham. Help us rekindle our compassion and brotherhood and transform our separate interest into loving acceptance for all. May your compassion help us overcome our hatred. May Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva's love help the flowers bloom again in the soil of our country. Humbly, we open our hearts to you so you may help us transform our karma and water the flowers of our spirits with your deep understanding. Help our hearts grow light. Homage to Shakyamuni Buddha, whose great vows and compassion inspire us. I am determined to cultivate only thoughts that increase trust and love, to use my hands to perform only deeds that build community, to speak only words of harmony and aid. May the merit of this prayer be transformed into peace in the Middle East. May each of us realize this, our deep aspiration. About 30 years later, a Zen master from Taiwan, the venerable Xing Yun, wrote another prayer for peace. And I recite this one today, unmodified from his original words. O oh, great compassionate Buddha, as your students and followers, we are sincerely kneeling here before you. Please listen to the words from our hearts, the rumbling of wars between nations, the clamor of discord between people, the roar of greed and the rapids of craving, the growl of hatred among races. These sounds are like tidal waves storming against our hearts. The sound are like hurricanes pounding against our hearts. As we observe all of this, we realize that all human suffering originates from our self-conceit, prejudice, and delusion. As we contemplate all of this, we realize that all worldly turmoil is caused by our attachment to things, dharma and relationships. Disagreement between different people has caused so many arguments. Discrimination between different races has caused so many disasters. Intolerance between different religions has caused so many misfortunes. Conflict of interest between different nations has caused so much chaos and upheaval. Living in this kind of world, every day we live in fear with no ease. Every day we live in senselessness with no peace. O oh, great compassionate Buddha, please listen to our sincere prayer. 
we sincerely wish that in this world there be no jealousy, only admiration, no hatred, only harmony, no greed, only generosity, no harm, only achievement. O oh, great compassionate Buddha, let people of different ages live in harmony. Let people of different social stations have mutual respect. Let people of different professions work in cooperation. Let people of different religions practice with tolerance. O oh, great compassionate Buddha, you once said the mind, Buddha, and all sentient beings are no different from one another. You and I and others are all equal. We need to learn from you the wisdom to close the distance between self and others. We need to learn from you the selflessness to eliminate all of our attachments. We need to learn from you the truth to resolve the confrontations between races. We need to learn from you the compassion to reconcile the conflicts between nations. We need to learn from you the Buddha light to illuminate the darkness of the world. Oh, great compassionate Buddha, please hear my sincere and pious prayer. Please bestow peace upon the world. Please bless all sentient beings with harmony. Oh, great compassionate Buddha, please accept our sincere prayer. Oh, great compassionate Buddha, please accept our sincere prayer. Namo Shakyamuni Buddha.